Hi everyone, my name is Chris Cruz from Technology Services and today I'll be showing you how to transfer files on a Porto and as well as transfer files from a Porto to your device. As you can see here, uh, I'm in my, I've logged in and I'm in my Porto session and it's running from a web browser. Um, you can maximize the session by hitting the maximize button on the upper left or you can keep it in window mode just like I have here. I'm going to keep it in window mode that way you can kind of see the difference between the virtual session, the app streaming session through a Porto and your local device here. These two buttons on the top where it shows a cloud with an up arrow is your ability, your option to upload files from your device to your Porto session. The next one is the ability to download files from your Porto session onto the local device that you're currently on. So I'm going to focus on those two options there. So let's say I have uh, some school files that I want to upload from my local device onto the Porto session so I can start working. The best thing to do is to create a folder. I'm going to create a folder in here and call it my school files. Keep in mind that as I mentioned in my other videos, these files, your files here are persisted, so they'll remain here even if you log off or get disconnected. The next time you come come back, log in, your files will remain here and you can continue your, your work. So as you can see, I created this folder and it's empty. And I'd like to upload some files that are on my local device. I'm using the Mac currently here. And upload those files onto my Porto session. So I'm going to click on the upload button on the upper left here. And when you do that, this window will pop up and it'll show you places you can download to. So I'm going to download to my school files folder. And then I'm going to click on the upload button. Once I do that, a pop up window will show and these are the locations on my computer that um, I can download or upload from. Click on documents, I'm going to click on my document files and uh, these these files right here are what I want to work with. So let's say I wanted to work on this Excel file, I'll click on the Excel file, click open and once I do that you'll see on the lower right corner um, the file has been uploaded and you can see it's 8.6 kilobytes out of 8.6 kilobytes in that has completed. So I'm going to hit close. Now verify that my file has been uploaded. You can see here my important Excel file is the file that I wanted to upload and it's there. I can double click on it and start working right away um, within the Oporto session using this Excel file. <clears throat> now one common question that I, I get is what, what if you have multiple files that you want to upload? Okay, um, let's call Let's uh, let's just delete this file here just to keep it clean. Um, I'm going to click on the upload button again. Go to my go to my school files as as far as the destination I want to upload to. Click on upload. Now let's say if I if I click on one file and then hold down the shift, you can actually upload the multiple files at the same time. So I'll click open. As you can see, the files on the, have been uploaded by the indication on the lower right hand corner. So you can see those are complete. I'll hit close there, close there, and you can verify that my files have been uploaded to a Porto. Now I can just double click on the file that I want and start working right away. And then I can um, save. Um, within the session like you normally would. Uh, using Word or whatever application you like. So I'm going to hit click Save As and you can choose a location within a Porto where you want to save your files. So I'm going to save here where I already have it. You can save to documents to your desktop uh, within your Porto session. So let's, let's take a look at that first. So I'll double click on desktop within my Porto session you can see here the places I can save to. You can save it directly to the desktop 
or go back to um, the folder I just created. I'm give that version two, hit save, close out my Word document, and you can see that I've saved my version two of the document. Now, another question is, let's say I have folders um, and a bunch of files that I want to upload, um, and I want to upload them all at once. Um, the easiest way to do it is to zip the file or compress it. So let's say um, I'm right here in Finder. Uh, for Mac, it's called Finder for your file managing system. In Windows, it's called Explorer. So on Mac, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I have these folders here, and then I have these files here, and I want to upload them, but I don't, I don't want to upload one by one or uh, multiple times. I just want to upload once to make my uh, process easier and more simple. Um, what I can do here is select all the files that I want to upload. Right click, and on Mac, you usually have compress the number of items that you have selected. So I'm going to select that. On Windows, you normally have an option to zip. Um, if you don't have a zip option, um, you can always download free zipping utilities. Um, one that's really popular and easy to use is 7-Zip, and that's usually open source. And all you'd have to do is download, install it, and then uh, you'll have that right-click option to um, zip your files. As you can see, um, once I compressed it, it created this zip archive. You can rename it to whatever you like. Let's say my files. But you, you want to make sure you keep that zip extension at the end. All right, so once I have all those files zipped, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to my Windows or my Aporto session and then go to the Upload button. and then choose my school files is where I want it to be saved to and then click upload you'll get the window that pops up to allow you to choose your file and since I zipped that file um, and named it my files I can choose it and select open and you can hit close on the windows and now I have the file uploaded into my Porto session. Now I can just right click and extract all. And this allows you to choose where you want to extract it to. Usually it's the default is the same location that you have it um, located. I'm going to hit extract. As you can see, my files are there. My folder 1, folder 2, and the Word and Excel files are there as well. This is just additional information from using Mac, but you can ignore it. So that in a nutshell is the upload and download function. The next section I'd like to show you is using Cloud Mounter. Cloud Mounter allows you to connect to your cloud drives, such as Google Drive, OneDrive, Box, Dropbox, and other, which is a network drive. So I'm going to focus on Google Drive because every student at Fresno State has access to Google Drive. So I'm going to connect my Google Drive to a Porto and hit Connect Now. You're going to get this window that pops up in a web browser, um, and it's asking you to enter your email credentials. So I'm going to enter mine. This is your authentication page, standard. And you get the dual factor authentication. If you have that set up, go ahead and initiate it and approve it. You're going to get this window that says allow. Um, so you can edit, create, and delete files on your Google Drive from a Porto. You want to make sure that's allowed. And allow again here. 
Once you do that, uh, the window will pop up with all your Google Drive files and folders. You also notice within the Cloud Mounter app, it says remove here. That means that you are connected. And uh, you can see here, I have my Google Drive files. I'm going to go here. I created a test folder. Um, let's say I have these important Excel files that I want on my Porto session. All I have to do is click and drag onto my desktop. You can also copy and paste here. And you replace it. It's the same file. Um, we recommend that you copy the files from your Google Drive and drag it or paste it onto your local Porto session on the desktop or documents area. Um, that way your the performance of the file um, is the best possible. Uh, keep in mind that since you're in a cloud session, um, the Porto servers have to connect to Google Drive servers and the connection between the two can sometimes be uh, slow. So to improve the performance you want to make sure you copy the files locally onto your Porto session and just use Google Drive as a way to access your files so that way you can easily copy things over. As I mentioned before this session is, is persisted so even if I log off or get disconnected from a Porto, I come back, log back in, and these files will remain there and I can continue where I left off. So think of this as your personal computer in the cloud and you have access to your Google Drive for your files as well as the upload and download from the local device that you're on. And if you no longer want your Google Drive connected to a Porto, you can always hit the remove button here and hit OK and uh, you'll be disconnected from your Google Drive. One thing I'd like to show, once you connect to your Cloud Drive or Google Drive, you can always access the drive by going to your File Explorer here and going to, on the left side column, the one that's labeled G Drive, G for Google, and you can always get to your files there. You can also go directly to it by going file from your application, save as, going to browse, and going to your G drive. I'm going to my test folder here, call it test4, hit save, And now that, now that it's saved, I can close my application here. And I can verify that, yes, my file has been saved to Google Drive as test4. So, summarize everything. We have two main options to transfer files back and forth um, from your local device as well as your cloud option, cloud drive option, um, using the upload and download buttons on the top or connecting to your cloud drive and transferring files by dragging and dropping or copying and pasting uh, from one location to another. Thank you.